Pedro Pascal. He's actually always been around, he's only kind of being noticed now because his face is everywhere. He's become the main character of quite a few shows instead of being one of the side characters in let's say Game of Thrones Season 4. He's now finally front row starred in some of these shows, such as The Mandalorian, which wide success, as it kind of brought back the Star Wars fandom to actually agree on something. And then The Last of Us, which has also been a massive hit for the guy. His recent rise to fame is nothing short of deserved. He's a brilliant actor and he's able to put on plenty of different voices in all of his different work to the point where if you didn't recognize his face, you probably wouldn't know him. I'm Jack, what's your name? How would you like to ride home on a real cowboy? I am the brother of Elia Martel. And do you know why I've come all the way to this stinking shit pile of a city? My daughter's hurt, her ankle. Stop right there. I said, open the doors. He sounds about the same in Last of Us and Mandalorian, but then watch him in something like Game of Thrones, or the unbearable weight of massive talent. His accents completely change, using his default voice to American that's going through hard times after a zombie apocalypse, and a rich billionaire who supposedly kidnaps people. You just run out there, you get the truck, you come back and get me, I will keep a lookout. Both with completely different voices that you'd never fucking recognize. And he's kind of become the internet's daddy. Just look up Pedro Pascal and then internet daddy afterwards, you'll find a whole host of really creepy bullshit. <laughs> It's only because he's starred in so many of these internet-related films recently. One of the key aspects to Pedro Pascal's success is he can not only physically act, but he can voice act, as I hope I've demonstrated throughout this entire video. He's not only great physically in movies such as The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, but again, great vocal abilities shown throughout all of his movies, being a completely different person almost. Unlike The Rock that just plays himself in every fucking movie. Pedro Pascal is nothing short of amazing and it's great that he's finally getting more viewership. Bro, I didn't know who the third guy in Kingsman 2 was when I watched that shit, but I did love the movie. Pedro Pascal has been launched this stage pretty quickly, and ignoring Wonder Woman 1984, he's, he's got a pretty good film record. Thankfully, he was killed off in Game of Thrones before it went bad. So I personally cannot wait to see where he goes from here. Beans. Just made an album seven days, that's quick. Boobies going up and down, she's fit. Hold up, wait, rewind that shit. Got uncut gems, Adam Sandler, pit. 